And we are back here quite quickly with that number two. It is going to be overpass again. Nexus did win your first map on Inferno 16 to 13. If they win this thing, it's all over for tonight, though. There is still a lower bracket that Quetzal can play from, so they won't be eliminated from the tournament. Uh, meanwhile, if we do, in fact, see Quetzal be able to take overpass, we will move on to map three, which would be a Mirage, which, as later noted, that is a map that Nexus beat Quetzal on, you know, earlier in the season quite handedly. So, I mean, a lot of things are kind of looking in Nexus's favor here, but we'll see how this pussy around works out as Quetzal, like they want us to turn this A bomb site here pretty quickly, seeing Biku up upper by himself, the rest clearing out bathrooms in mid, but B has a wow, super no fast surprise. flank, and this rotation's already in, you know, for Nexus, and yeah, that's just a good thing for them. It's like a shooting okay, range, no problem, wow. Yeah, well, no, what can like, you say? I, I mean, I could say that there was absolutely no bite to that fake from Quetzal. Those decoys did, did did nothing to hold anyone in place. Seb, I think, had an accurate idea of what happened. He took that initial fountain peak, gathered a bunch of information, heard a bunch of steps, called it all to his teammates, and said, hey, they never went down those stairs. They're definitely coming, I know, for a fact. And he was absolutely right. They, as we said, they had all four players ready to rock in that A site, ready to put on a clinic, and a, a fifth player flanking who couldn't even be effective, despite the fact that he had probably the best positioning of all of them. So, I mean, tough pistol round if you're Quetzal. I would say generally uh, not a super positive start for them, but here we go, three bomb site. Gonna be opened up a little bit by Blue Munch. We're gonna get against the with that Tech 9, and now. Oh, he's actually no. gonna get TK'd. Wow, that stinks. I mean, that, that's a big TK. That swings everything here in favor of Nexus, who also pick up a kill with no one. So now, they have a four on one. I mean, that double kill nade comes in, and that's it. No one able to find the quad kill there. No no ace potential, seeing as one of the guys. I'm sure he would have loved it. Robbed it from him there. So. There you have it. 2-0 for Nexus. Fourth play doesn't work out, so likely a full save from Quetzal here going into the opening gun round. So Nexus already off to that 3-0 start, it seems. Yeah, and you know, we've seen uh this is not my first TK I've ever casted, but I think it may be the first TK that's ever pushed anyone to a negative score line as uh, it is now being displayed on the scoreboard here from Secret Agent. Top the thing was though, it sounded like he only shot like one bullet. I don't really don't yeah, think he must have done like two damage to his team. It's really uh of course stuff. And this game really did not punish you as badly as our older iteration of Counter Strike does for team killing. But hey, the bomb set has been taking your spider spader rather Somehow it manages to get the plant. Yeah, I mean, it's a clean victory from Nexus. They don't lose a single member, but still getting the bomb hey, plant. plant. Gives you a little bit extra money going to the next round. They were buying next round no matter what, but this gives you even a little bit more, uh, you know, cash to spend there. Maybe a few more luck rounds, you know? Maybe instead of buying the great value brand, maybe they go for a name brand, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, they got a little bit of extra chains in the pockets, yeah. dude. They're shopping at Costco, but they're not buying Kirkland. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I, I should have to say, oh, that was a, a pretty crazy round as that it was, was in solid. general. I Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I feel like for yeah, the most part, whenever you see like a team all die but they get a bomb plant, it's because like they threw a smoke in the site and they snuck the bomb in, but that was yeah, actually that. one of the, like a, a unique round in that. Quetzal got pretty much like evaporated as soon as they all Look got to the bomb site, but they man. still all got to the bomb site. Yes, yeah, my aggressive play the P90s into the boss, and they get aggressive. They do find one kill, but can't spot Kinky through that fire, and so Kinky will be able to make the trade. And you'll take those equal trades all day if you're Quetzal. Like, you see a jump peak coming in from no one. He does spot Kinky still playing in that construction area. So he gets a little bit of information about what's going on. This is actually causing the A players to begin to fall back into the site and be in position to be able to rotate to that B mom site. If, in fact, that's where the attack is coming, which we know it probably is. But obviously, Nexus not quite sure of that just yet. But as time passes... Uh, they will be able to get better positions here. So Nexus, like I said, very conservative with their money to, to hold on to all these uh, weaker guns. We'll see if it pans out. Yeah, Secret Agent very easily could get caught off guard here. The CT has shown that he's like peak and a solid pop flash coming out from his teammate. It's going to net them a frag. So Nexus Esports able to pull this back in their favor with only 38 seconds on the clock despite Quetzal's best efforts to, to slow it down and control it themselves. Yeah, and they see the nades coming in, so I mean, they should know what's up. This rotation should be coming A here pretty much momentarily. The long B hit has come in. No one able to hide here by the pit and catwalk. He will step out, and he is going to be able to grab the bomb carrier. Blue Meister, Viku trades, but the rotation has already come in here from the CT side. We already see one player over here towards the window, and one graffiti that's going to be walking with the P9 just pressing through the catwalk and ending the round. So that is Nexus again. They're three for three on pistols so far tonight. And also, I guess now they're three for four on opening gun rounds. Or no, I guess. Well, two, they won two. on, yeah, two for three. 
Two for three. There you go. Yeah, projecting Thank that you. perhaps we'll be three for four in the future. We'll have to see how it breaks down. Or at, at this rate, we may not even be seeing. Well, basically, a, uh, what happened is, is Doc and Marty showed up a couple of days ago. Yeah. So I was actually able to use that technology okay. to move forward about UN. you know twenty minutes and, okay. and realize that. Who won the World Series? It certainly I didn't wasn't travel the Cubs. That far you didn't travel that far. Understandable. You said 20 minutes. I, I should have uh, taken that into my calculations. I don't think there are any games going on tonight. But once again, Waka doing his job. Opening frag Waka. He should just change his username to that. Opening frag Waka. I mean, what else do you? I mean, that's like I feel like that's the only thing I've been saying about Waka. All like, I can wow, think about when I see Waka frags. is Blitzball. Uh, I don't even. Please. I mean, uh, that, no? that sounds ah, uh, that sounds awesome. I love fake no? future sports, but Blitzball doesn't. Nah, I go Waka Flocka, the rapper. Okay. And that's not a terrible poll, but I mean, Blitzball sounds pretty rad. Oh, you mean from Final Fantasy? Yeah, Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. 10, Blitzball. Ah, I never played Walk a Final in. Fantasy game. Still oh, got man. the ref though. All right, I'm Google done. It. I'm done with you. It's over. <laughs> we are going to see Nexus Esports here get the opening pick once again. That is going to be Waka with that op. He was getting a lot of those uh, towards the end of the first half and almost all the second half there on Inferno, carrying it over here to Overpass. It gets a lot of spam damage in here to BTK, but. He will be able to remain alive and kind of drop down here into the water. B will step up. He's going to be able to defend that catwalk push there. Kinky goes down, and it's a bit off time because really no one else from Quetzal attacking just yet. Now they're starting to try to get out of long B, but they've already lost one of their teammates in superior positioning here from Nexus. They just get absolutely destroyed. And so Nexus up 5-0. I mean, they're they're putting together a pretty dominant CT side thus far. Yeah, B and no one combining for 17 frags thus far, the two top fraggers for their teams, and also not dying a whole lot. Two deaths for B, which is kind of understandable. I feel like Quetzal has been really hammering that B bomb site, and only uh, one for no one, so not a lot of rebuys as well. I'm sure they're going to these rounds also really rough comfortably. That, uh, it's only three kills total for Quetzal so far this time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Working in that negative one very well there. Um, I mean, you, technically it is a frag, you know? Uh, that's true. We'll call it four. Well, or I guess maybe we're. It's a kill, maybe not a frag. I'm gonna have to get into the the esports dictionary to really figure this one out. Yeah, so we are gonna see Quetzal here on a, a you know a save, but you know, investing some into nature so again to try to do some type of quick B hit. They actually do catch B this time. They're gonna get in here fast enough before the rotation can really set in. So there's a chance they at least get a bomb plan out of that. Some nice flashes coming in, but it doesn't matter. Quetzal. Getting a lot of these kills, and there's a there's a chance here for them to get this thing. A lot of players on low HP for Quetzal, but they still do have a two-man advantage here. Waka trying to get the kill, does find one there. He knows there's one below him. He's gonna, be he's gonna try to jump on top of him, and he kills himself. Oh my goodness, that is just demoralizing. But Seb, he's still alive. He's in a one versus one against Secret Agent. He's gonna put a smoke on the bomb. He's gonna tap it. He's gonna hold it. Secret agent oh, he's doesn't gonna really know he's if it's fake or not. He's, yeah, he's gonna be able to get it. Oh, this misses the shots. Will he get the kill as well? Yes, he will. Add insult to injury. Oh man, that was close though from Quetzal. They almost won. I mean, pretty much a full save, but and they get a bomb plant too. So I mean, there are some victories there for Quetzal, but it's not a round victory. Yeah, that would have been a monstrous one v one for Secret Agent as well. That would have pulled him out of the negative zone, and I'm sure hyped his uh, team up as well. Poor Waka? Funny. Yeah, dude, he cratered so hard there. Oh, oh, yeah, jumping out of the... I totally forgot about that. Did he, was it a crater or was it... Yeah, it must have been. He had fallen to his own Molotov. You know, what, wouldn't it I thought be that was sick well. if, like... You know how you crater because you fell from too far and took damage? Yeah, for sure. What if you could Goomba stomp people in CS? I like, agree. You, you land like, it on them. It does, do, like, like, a little damage. One damage, damage though, Like, awesome. something similar to, like, a, a flag or something like that. Ooh! Ooh. Be hitting a sick flick. That nade may be able to get it done, but actually can't be smart enough about running away sick sick shots from B there able to get one and change for his team give me a call Matt let's talk about it all right about the Goomba stop and see us game as we do see Spader being able to get out of here at long B he doesn't actually grab a kill but no one lurking inside the smoke able to respond keeps it into a three versus three also we got two players very low on HP here for Quetzal and one of them is actually going to fall to fire there I don't know how that happened actually but uh, he does go down we do see Somehow Ooh. this guy just wandered around, but Waka will pick up on him and Seb will grab the kill and this is looking monstrous here, man. We might not be here much longer if Kotal can't figure something out soon on this terrorist side. Yeah, I, man, I know say, it's a tiki sided map, but you gotta figure something out. Yeah, they, I mean they're clearly not fragging properly. I mean they still have Secret Agent who is still at negative one. I mean I hate to harp on it, but it's I you never see that dash in the scoreboard. You never see it there. It's it's the only thing my eye uh, is catching. But even so, it's not like his heart is hitting fraggers or are doing that much better. Um, only you know four, I guess, frags ahead of him, sitting at three and seven a pop. Is Kinky and Viku. So yeah, just not a lot of work being done you know, on that Quetzal side. 
They haven't hit A a single time, I feel like. Since pistol, pistol round. Yeah, pistol round and six rounds of hitting B. Uh, but now they are actually trying to work over towards A. Waka going to get boosted here with this op. He does hear some gunfire going off over on this A side as well. So he kind of knows that there's something going on here. He's just looking to see if he can't find a pick. He took a shot, doesn't find anything, but you know, no harm, no fault. He's gonna be able to back off here, and he, he has some good information on what's going on now with all the noise that's being made by Quetzal. And they have actually three players still in place here at A. It's gonna be all about whether or not VQ and company can maybe find this opening pick. We'll see. I mean, he was so dominant with the op at the beginning of uh, Inferno. You'd think he'd be able to pull it back out here when his team needs it, but ever since Waka uh, has heated up, his. Ever since Waka Flock of Flames has heated up. Nah, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Pretend I didn't say that one. I'll, I'll break it back out later. I only um, know like one song by Waka Flock of Flame. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a no remix. I saw you. Oh, that song. I got that's actually the only song I know. So, I, so basically, if you were hoping I was going to come up with some Waka Flock of Flames, I, I, I don't have any. Actually. I, I was hoping you any. didn't put any more on me. Okay. We are going to see the hit coming in here from Plus. It looks like they are going to get the bomb plate here, but Nexus, they're able to stay a man up right now. So, Spank will do the smoke oh, from Secret 7 Agent. as well. Takes on Secret Agent very low, but they're somehow just jumping next to each other. They have no clue what Secret Agent actually gets the kill. That's insane. That's going to allow Quetzal to actually pull out Don't a run hit here. Oh, go. are you kidding me, Secret Agent? What are you doing? I can't even believe he just did that. And that's going to be possibly how the round is lost. Unless Vader can come up big here. He's going to step into no. him and get some. Oh, no, not like that. Dude, that round was absolutely no. ridiculous. Like, it was crazy that Secret Agent got the kill on 7 in the first place in the smoke, but he <laughs> kills himself he in the himself. fire. He must have been so excited. They had a 3v2. I know. I can't oh, even Secret believe Secret Agent, it. you could have had it all. Could have had, <laughs> had it all. You could have had it all. You got the frag. You, you was returning to this, well, like, returning to this corridor with a zero. I'm not sure if that really counts, but... I mean, he should have gotten sprayed down by Seb. It was a miracle that he didn't just die after planting the bomb immediately. He you got know what's even worse? Frag. Is there was so much like space between oh, him yeah, and that yeah. fire. He, bunny hopped directly he literally yeah, just yeah. jumped straight exactly. into he it. He could have just like posted or like stood still oh or like God. died in any other way, and it would have been like not. Nah, if he got like out fragged, but you're like, ah, tough. Next is a good team. When he I dies can't to a even Molotov, believe it. it just hurts. I can't. That is actually like I, I normally don't speak in superlatives because it, it's risky. You get you punished know? for it. But that was actually the worst dying in fire yeah, ever I seen so. in this game. Yeah, usually like it wasn't even blind too. Like the only thing that is more embarrassing trapped. is maybe the Cloud Nine one where they all died in the fire on overpass, like in the the B bomb site trying to defuse the bomb. Like, yeah, I, oh, I think that was like Cologne. No, maybe. I remember that. Uh, but but even that, at least they were they were on a mission to defuse a bomb. You know what I mean? That was just like, oh, the fire is way far away from me. Let me you run, run, run it anyway with three yeah. HP. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy stuff. We do see Quetzal again trying to work over into A. They do have an equal exchange thus far. They actually have the site, but they can't get the bomb in there. Now the flanks are coming in, and B puts it into just a 2v1 Viku with 2 HP with the op. Steps out and goes down. That's 9-0 for Nexus, and this is getting rough here, man. Yeah, B, too fast right now. I don't think you're going to... I really... I, I feel like once these Nexus esports players... I still can't have believe I witnessed that up. fire kill. I know. We'll talk about was, that some more. We can. We That's can talk the about it worst. As as the the, the worst. Analysis-wise. And chat. We've, we've hit it surface Chat, level. have you ever seen a worse Molotov kill in this game? Have you ever uh, seen that? That Cloud9 one certainly will ride. No, that, this one's it, worse. I'm, okay, promise. yeah, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying it, it takes the ground. Purely I think, because of the distance from the fire, and he still did it. And it was, it was like a decision to die. Like, yeah, he had to yeah, choose yeah. to die. Oh, man, hurtful one, but Quetzal yeah. forced on a safe here. I mean, next to these words, uh, okay, I mean, that death just, is bad. I just want to poll chat and see if they've them. seen worse than that. Because, I, I mean, I spoke to the superlative there. I know I did. I, I want to know. Is there a worse one out there? They probably watch more CS than we do. This hit, Eek up with some special. What's gonna happen? Equal exchange. There's hope here. There's hope here. Oh, there's Ooh. even more now. A lot of hope. The dream is still alive. Nice nade comes in, does some damage here, and no one also slips in a nice kill. But Secret Yeesh. Agent with 9 HP, crazy headshot there. Now we have a 2 on 2 retake coming in. Secret Agent is pretty low on HP. Meister, in his position, Waka presses in for the kill but misses it, and somehow Secret Agent with 9 HP finds 2 kills, and Quetzal win their first round, and that was a crazy one to win. Wow. Yeah, certainly. Shout out Blue Meister, getting it done with the Deagle in hand, finding the frags, and, and eventually, well, Secret Agent as well, you know, a player we've been ribbing on a little bit, 9 HP, peeks wide from the bomb site, and just one taps no one with PG50. Really sick, sick stuff, and that's, I feel like that makes the fire death just that much more infuriating, because it's like, oh, come on. 
right? You went from killing yourself and blowing around for your team then to hitting a super clutch one tap P250 shot yeah, yeah. on the move. It's gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. That's yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, exactly. And I, I think he did. You know what's just even that crazier is that Nexus has to save first loss right. after winning nine rounds in a row. That just kind of yeah. shows you how close some of these rounds have how actually many been. Yeah. yeah, Nexus here though on the save, still maybe gonna win the round. They have a three on two and they have the bomb down. Oh, and this would be demoralizing if Quetzal gets a money reset like this. If he, no, he just missed the shot on the walk. <laughs> no. Why does this keep happening? Oh, you got it. It's like watching a shitty soap opera right now, but <laughs> Nexus is able oh, to man. pull it out, and man, oh man, Quetzal finally gets something going for themselves, and Nexus comes right back, resets their money. There's still a decent bit on a couple of players, but... Eh. Five, six on blue, four, yeah, one on they're Spader. They're, they're going for, yeah, I mean... It's a broken one, though. I would say at this point, try to put something on the board while you can, or else you're just going to let Nexus 14 to 1 you, but... Uh, yeah, this buy, it doesn't feel like it. We'll see what they're capable of. I, I like that Nexus hasn't uh, really readjusted their gameplay too much. They're playing just really basic at, at both sides. They uh, haven't lost the, their, their tenacity over at A just because there's been so much attention over towards B. And, and similarly, those B players have been dynamic enough to stay uh, ahead of Quetzal on so many rounds. B going to be playing the smoke here. Every time they run through a smoke towards B, B comes out on top. I think he should be able to do it again right here. Huge oh, flash yeah. there actually is going to take all of the Quetzal players to a, a full white screen here. Let's see if they're going to be ready for B. I don't think anyone's played this close angle yet. He's not even find up one frag for him. Can they make it a second? No, he can't. One for one overall. Yeah, I mean, good trade here from Quetzal. So they're getting into a three on three. They're looking pretty good, but no one from the catwalk steps out. Waka with the op, and they just get shut down. It's all the secret agent now. One versus two. He had a pretty nice round to help win their first one with low HP. And he actually got Did across Seb's without spot? being spotted yeah, yet. Wow. No, Seb didn't. Well, he got there trick. just a bit too late, but he still kind of realizes, hey, maybe... Maybe, just maybe, he did get around, and so he is putting himself in the too. stairs. Yeah, there he exactly. is. He's hearing him right now. Poor secret agent. Not being secret agent at all right now. Being Thunderfoot. <laughs> Double O loud. There you have it. 11 to 1 here for Nexus Esports, and this one's starting to get out of control. Yeah, and uh, I mean, at least going into that last one, they had some semblance of an economy to put something together with those AKs. As I said, didn't feel like the one, and unfortunately for them, it wasn't. Just uh, more uh, really solid shutdowns coming down from the, the Nexus players using uh, the B bomb state so well, and, and also with the, the he grenades as well coming in from all angles from the, the Nexus esports players. Just the bullying. Yeah, I think I'm like, I don't know why Wonder still calls them he grenades. I don't, I don't know. know. But Probably. I just thought he man when you said he grenades. <laughs> yeah. That high explosive grenades, or highly, I don't even know what it stands for, um, have been fantastic from Nexus and just been ripping the Quetzal players as they move off the ramp and towards that B bomb. Say, so Waka, no. here, gonna be finding an opening frag. No he grenade in hand. It's gonna be an off for him, as always. Make that two as Seb supports him perfectly as yeah. well. I mean, Quetzal. Just from watching them play, it seems like they just don't have much in their playbook on this map. It's either. I mean, they have some pretty well orchestrated B executes, and they have a, a good way of kind of changing the tempo of how they hit B like you'll see some really fast B hits you'll see some some slower stuff but there have been some issues where I feel like some of their times have been a bit off like short might peak a little bit quicker than long a, long B gets out and so there's a mismatch there and also they just seem to have nothing for A uh, yeah I, mean, no. I, I rarely even see them head that direction and again they're gonna try their, their luck over here at B yeah, understandably so. I, well, I guess they... I mean, Their one round does come here, but they've also been shut down yeah. here 11 times, or, or 10 True. times, or something like that. So. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they really should have won that round, the one where, where Secret Agent kind of, you know, died in a, in a in a dumb way. You know, I'm surprised that didn't encourage them to go towards A more, uh, that in the light oh, of fire, they yeah, say, hey, you know, you know, we, we should have won that round, you know, even though we didn't, we totally could have. Vico, gonna be spotting no one. He has to protect himself here. Very easily could have gotten a shot in the side of the head trying to find Vico, but... Ultimately, all players are going to retain their lives for now. And Quetzal here saving up against that B hit. B actually does get killed. He does a good bit of damage to Blue Meister, but it doesn't matter. He's not able to find the frag. And so Quetzal, they have a real shot here. BTK, though, and company have already put themselves in position at this B mom site. Viku and company still trying to lead out long B, but BTK and company do have this crossfire, but no one does go down. So now it's all up to BTK. It's a 3v3. Waka even goes down with the Whoa, op. Secret agent in heaven? 
Yeah, I don't know how the heck he got there, but that's a big position to have right now. Quetzal, they should lock this one up, but BTK staying alive somehow finds another kill. Seb finding a kill, and that was actually all a ruse. The bomb does get planted in A, but the problem is is that they lost so many players trying to make this fake work that Nexus actually has the advantage on this retake. So Blue Meister, he just has to make a big play by himself here. One will go bank, one will go stairs. They're splitting up a little bit here. They might give Blue Meister a bit of a chance. He is going to get the two 1v1s out of this. He finds the first one, but Seb midair headshot. Gonna get it. And that's Nexus up 13 to 1. And this is just devastating. Yeah, most certainly. Especially losing that one on one after being, uh, being able to zone the guy on stairs. And you think from truck, should be able to just stay alive long enough to not let the CT defuse. But getting air headshotted is actually a really tough way to go down there. Pretty frustrating round loss. But uh, overall, I would say a solid fake. Um, it cost them perhaps a bit too much, but it faked me out. I wasn't ready for the bomb to get planted. Uh, at A, but you know, as I said, cost them so much, cost them four lives, ultimately not worth it. Really good work from those Nexus players working together to, to close that one out. Yeah, it was really a uh, BTK, like just being being able to do what he can do. I keep trying to say B2K, I think that was like some type of boy band like a long time B2K. ago. B2K. Wasn't it? I don't, I don't think so, but I mean, sure it sounds was. like you'd be familiar. Uh, I would be familiar <laughs> with, you know, male. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was boy like bands. a black boy band group. Like, not, really? Not, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what was that dancing movie? Are you, are you going boys to men? Or are you doing no, like no, no. You know that sharks? dancing movie? What's that dancing movie? Footloose. No, no, no. Like the break That's dancing a... one. Oh, um. Oh, yeah, I got you. Not any of the step ups. It was something else. Oh, I was going to go step up. But, like, what is it, Omarion is it the or Omarion or something like that? I would have gone Omarion, he was he like, either way. He was, like, the lead singer of it, I think, or something Okay. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> you you, you, you pulled out a lot of information there, and I can neither refute it nor yeah. confirm it. Then the guy who played that... That, that annoying kid on Sister Sister or whatever with T and Tamara Mori. I think he was like an inner. I don't know, dude. Whatever. Okay. It seems like I, a super I, deep. I took that reference way deep. Later. Way yeah. deep. If you Google B2K, though, it's definitely some type of. Play, right? Anyway. <laughs> he keeps messing me up with his name. Anyway, though, we're back to Nexus dominating here. Call of the Viku. One on three and dies. And Nexus. 14 to 1. What what can you really say other than this the dominant display there from Nexus and not so much coming out of Quetzal? I mean, we'd rather talk about potential boy bands. Like, not even confirmed boy bands. I know I was right. It is Om Omarion. Oh, yeah. You nailed it. Good for you. I nailed it. If you were to put together a CSGO Ooh. boy band of North American players, four North American players to, to make a boy band, what's your what's your squad? Don Gares. Good pick. Hair, Good first sure. pick. Love it. Love it. If we could get Scream that, that's over the here. lead singer of the band. Understandable. I'm with it. Uh, I mean, that, that's that's the one that really nails it. Mm -hmm. um, Give me three more. Maybe Freakazoid would be in there somewhere. You know, it's true. The ladies love him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, put him in there for sure. Um, let's see here. Two from the same team. Nitro. Okay. All right. A little bit of a sleeper pick there. I like it. <laughs> um, Give me one more. Need one more here. I, I don't want to go two for another team again. I was thinking to leave, but I'm going to walk away from that one. Uh, think about mm. this. This is tough. You like yeah, my three picks I, so far, though? I, I mean, do. I I, like I, particularly like, Nitro. I feel like uh, Sean Gears really and Freakazoid are pick. kind of a gimme. Yeah. Nitro Nitro's is a good, a good one. Like a I, don't, I don't know what my fourth would be. Yeah, this is Spangler? Tough. Is he allowed? <laughs> Came in like a wrecking ball? <laughs> oh, no. I totally <laughs> forgot about that. We need, we need him in the boy band. Spangler's rounding it out. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Spangler, uh, he's kind someone, of an older member. Someone post that video in chat. They are getting the pistol around here. Quetzal's last chance, really, uh, to have any type of score going on and uh, in this game here. We do see them spinning this A-bomb site, or trying to, but uh, B2K, PK, sorry, getting the opening kill. Now they're just swarming this A-bomb site, <laughs> but the bomb's actually coming into B the entire time. So literally they just spread out and got control of absolutely oh. everything. Spader trying to uh, do something ninja there. Not going to happen. That's already mad yeah. for Nexus, and I mean... This is not looking good uh, no. for them at all. No, and this is actually, uh, you know, as I said, they, they've played before on Mirage where uh, Nexus East pretty much dominated them 16-3. to 3. That included 27 frags from Waka, 27-7 and 7 score on. We're seeing a bit more of an even distribution here of effort from the Nexus Esports players, but the result is, in fact, even more devastating. I mean, 16-3 to 3 on Mirage versus 16-1 on Overpass. That's tough. I mean, Quetzal's buying up with 5.7s and P250s. That's the best they can hope for on the round, and it's even going to include a, a Spader with 12 HP. Not looking great here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
feel like we need some diversity in our boy band though. Should we put Shazam in there? I was yeah, okay. I didn't want to say it, but I'm glad you did. I think that's not a bad pick. He's like a younger guy. Yeah. You know. That's a target yeah, demo. I think we, have, we, I think we also have like a good group. balance of like muscular people. Although Freak is more. Isn't. Yeah. I don't he know. Is, Who knows? He's like. He's, isn't he Middle East? That's what I assumed. Yeah, I was gonna say he isn't white. But, you know. He's, whatever. I don't want to work myself into a corner. This could here. be the last round here. Nexus. A nice flank coming in from Blue Meister, though. He does find one kill, but unfortunately now he's all alone. In a one versus three to try to keep this game progressing. In fact, they might just bring this bomb through, spawn back to B. Looks like exactly what they're going to do. And B's still going to be kind of on a bit of a flank here as well. So, I mean, Blue Meister reads what's going on, but there's so Looking many people that. in different spots he has to worry about that, yeah, he's just going to get destroyed. So, 16 1 from Nexus. Very dominant victory. And that does it for tonight. I mean, Quetzal will move on to the lower bracket, so they're not eliminated from the playoffs just yet. Nexus takes, you know, one step closer uh, in the upper bracket to work towards the finals. Again, there's, there's a good bit on the line here. There's prize money out for Maine for sure. And on top of that, it's also about pro trying place, to uh, get into pro placement to be in the pro league next season. Yeah, so there's definitely something to play for here, and it is Nexus who is going to be the victors. Absolutely. I think uh, they had very I, – they, they did a good job of, like – I mean, sometimes when you see a team just absolutely dominate another team, you don't really actually get a sense for – what that team is really made of, and actually seeing them get pushed on Inferno, and then for them to make a comeback uh, on kind of both sides there to get, they, I mean, they won the initial push round, got ripped for a long time on T side, then came back and won those last rounds. Even on CT side, they faced some adversity, getting a little bit overconfident, getting ecoed by uh, Quetzal, still battled back and came out with the win on top of it. I, I mean, no real challenge there on Overpass, but uh, I'm glad we actually got to see a, a, a team challenge Nexus early and kind of show what this team is made of. I think if they can keep that that Overpass level of play up or what they're potentially capable of Mirage on, keep that up on across all maps, I think they could be a force in this tournament. But uh, I really, I'm excited to see how this unfolds. I know I'm casting tomorrow, so I'm going to be able to see how even more of these games unfold. But um, when you have these, you know, the, these kind of lesser known teams, you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of a mixed bag. Now, so just like you folks know, we are done for this night, but we do have some more main playoffs going on for the rest of this week. Kicking off tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time, we do have the European Division SEVO main playoffs going. I'm not sure what's going on for North America yet. I don't think anything's actually scheduled for tomorrow night just yet, but be on the lookout for that. Just follow up and bookmark this channel so you can catch the SEVO main playoff coverage throughout the rest of this month and into November. And as we move closer to Season 9 of the Pro League as well. Also, of course, we do have our Season 8 Pro League Finals taking place where you will have... Uh, Virtus Pro and Navi, the, the finalists from last season, joining us, uh, as well as our three North American representatives, which will be Liquid Luminosity and Conquest. And then from EU, I believe it is Gamer2 who is going to be filling in. Uh, and then you have Titan, and I'm trying to remember who the third team is off the top of my head. I can't remember who it is. Is it? Sports? Got me beat. My brain's not working fast enough. My brain's not working at all right now. Wow, this is. Uh, I was thinking about this, this boy depressing. band. Are you in the boy band zone still? That's where I am. I've actually not. Uh, in the <laughs> boy band. Uh, uh, it makes me mad that I can't remember who the other. Yeah, team I'm is, looking but... it up right now. I think it's Dignitas. To... My bad, Dignitas. There it is. Oh, so it's Titan, yeah. Titan, Dignitas, and Gamers Two, as well as Navi and Virtus Pro, and then it is Liquid Luminosity and Conquest. So that is the eight That's teams awesome. that will be Strong there. Lineup. That is going to be November 6th through 8th, and that will be streamed right here on the channel. We actually will be running two streams the first couple of days, so we can cover every single match of group play. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that on PlaySevo and PlaySevo 2 here on MLG.TV. Uh, so yeah, definitely, like I said, book it market for that as well. I think we actually sold out of tickets for live attendance if you wanted to, you know, attend it live. But you still might be able to show up to the venue if you live in the Columbus, Ohio area or are willing to travel to the MLG TV arena. And, and you might possibly still be able to find a way in. But I uh, just wanted to let you know about that if you want to watch it on stream instead. Of course, you can give a follow over to me and later if you want as well to show some support at Dust Moret and at Later Yo. Would appreciate that also. And that does it for tonight, man. I'll let you sign us out. Yeah, that's uh, really all we got. So everyone, have a good night. Do your homework.